Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today's video I am trying out the new concealers from Thread Beauty that I purchased from Target. A black owned product, affordable. We're going to test it out today to see how it performs, how it blends and all of that. So if you want to see this video, <laughs> make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can see, we are starting off bare face. We're going to do a full, quick, very quick face because I want this face to be quick. Pull my chair up. I got some new concealers from Target the other day and I want to give it a try. I'm going to prime my face with my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream Primer. I'm going to use this little brush from Shein to do the primer with today. I've been noticing when I watch tutorials that people use like a brush to apply the primer. And I wonder if it's different than me using my hands. I wonder if I'm wiping off most of my primer when using my hands. So this is just a trial. <laughs> I like experimenting new things. I'm only going to use one primer today. Eyebrows and nothing is done. I love that primer. Okay. The concealer I picked up is from my Chucky Desk, Thread Beauty. And I picked up three of these concealers. I have them in the shade 06 Deep Tan, 08 Medium Warm Brown, and 05 Tan Golden. They look like this. They were $8 at Target. You all know Thread Beauty is a black owned affordable black brand sold at Target and meet thread beauty's newest complexion extension cover it multi-use complexion fluid concealer used to conceal contour highlight and cover with this unique multi-use and multi-benefit formula each swipe delivers blendable medium to full coverage, perfect for use as an under eye concealer, liquid contour, highlight, or for full face cover. So yeah, okay. And it was $8 if I did not say. You all know I love my 210 Thread Beauty Foundation Stick. That's all I ever use to contour with. And we're going to do a, I don't know what they when you do that type of thing. I know, I never know. But I saw this. Actually, I saw it on Andrea Renee's um, channel. She did a haul. I went right over to Target to pick it up. I was like, I did not even know they came out with anything new. And for $8, an $8 concealer nowadays, it's affordable. <laughs> so let's go ahead and swatch it first. I'm going to swatch 08 first. Oh, yeah, I know I always try to get one that's low-key my skin color, my skin tone, one to highlight with, and sometimes one to contour. This is 05 Golden Tan. It feels not liquidy, but it's not real thick. And the last one is 06 Deep Tan. So this is how the shades look. I can use either of these to highlight with. And the other one, of course, looks to be like it could be my foundation shade. What are we going to do? I'm going to take deep tan. A 
we'll start off with it. Yeah, see, I didn't color correct or anything. And zero 05, I'll put a little further up right here. Because I like the inner part of my eye to be like highlighted a lot. I'm going to scare myself. I'm going to scare y'all. <laughs> I'm going to use my Thread Beauty in 210 to contour with. So I guess we're doing the underpainting thing maybe. y'all but I started blending it out with a damp car beauty sponge and it has a little luminosity to it and it's giving to me like very high medium coverage as you can see let me blend out my contour something on this brush it's some it's me I had something on that brush <laughs> and this is where the blending comes in I have to blend it until I can't blend no more and as you can see I didn't Spray my face like I normally do and I had no issues with the concealer sitting for too long or sticking or any of that so that was good then out some more I don't see where it's creasing or anything so we're good so far I'm gonna use my rare beauty blush enjoy Since we're trying to do like a quick uh, look. Quick makeup, no makeup, makeup. Makeup, makeup. I find that I like almost, almost blending my blush into my eyeshadow. Like my upper cheeks versus down here. I don't like blush to start like down here and then go up. Just I like it to be like a little further up. And now I need product. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use my what's the other shade? My foundation shade. Is, is that it? So this is basically everywhere I didn't have part of that already. Thank you. 
We might be okay. I'm digging this underpainting thing. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit of the brighter shade because I want some more highlight. It's one of those days. I'm gonna put some on my eyes. Take my Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo and I'll just use that to knock that black brush on in my crease, deep dark, the darkest shade in there, put it in my crease. I'm taking the top blush shade and just softening the edges. I'm I left the concealer there because I want to see if I leave it sitting for a while, how much more coverage it'll give me. So let's see if we don't have it sitting for a minute. This coverage is a nice, it's real nice. I'm gonna set it with my, uh, so we're sticking, let's stick with Black Brands, um, Bakery, Beauty Bakery, and Caramel to set this. Be right back. Y'all remember this Nubius 2 Juvia's palette? It was behind me. I am going to pop. I just want to pop Zuri. It's that champagne shade right in that little space that I got left on my eyelid. I wonder why it was back there. Guess this turned into a still another <laughs> black makeup look, black own brand makeup look. Without even really trying. How wonderful is that? Okay. 
Okay, guys, so let's bronze now. Same palette. Y'all know I like to use a multiple, use one palette for, for multiple things. I still have not dusted away the powder yet, so don't be alarmed. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Black Radiance pressed powder and creamy beige. This can also be picked up from Target. It used to be like three dollars. I'm not sure how much it is now, but it used to be. And some of this Juvia's Plays Volume 1 blush. I'm going to take the orange shade. I'm gonna take this Juvia's Place lip liner and brownie. Pop some of my Jovia's Place matte lipstick and lady in the center. I just realized I have two of these lipsticks, the same shade or whatnot. That's how it looks. Perfect nude for my dark skinned girls. I'm going to pop a little bit of gloss in the center if I can find some, which I probably will not be able to, knowing me. This beauty is a plaster of gloss, just a little bit. It's a clear gloss. Spray my face. Okay guys, we made it back to the completed look. It initially started off with me just trying to test out the new concealers for me using some of my older, you know, black owned products. And I think once again, I have a very soft, natural uh, looking 
makeup look today i love these concealers already i know i've only had it on for probably about an hour at this point but i love them already it's eight dollars i feel like it's a very high medium coverage and as you can see my face has a little luminosity a little sheen radiance to it which you all know lately i've been loving in my concealers i love my concealers to have a little you know not to be as matte as I used to. And this is how it's looking, y'all. I'm not bad at it at all. I think this looks amazing. It gave me, the concealers had a golden undertone, which you know I love. The shade 08, which I used to spot, spot conceal, did excellent. I feel like it's a perfect match for my skin tone. I love when I can find a concealer that's my skin tone that I could use as a foundation and don't have to grab a foundation every day. I could just spot, seal, and go. I love that. So yeah, this is my natural look using the new Thread Beauty uh, concealers. I just call them Thread Beauty concealers. It's Thread Thread Beauty Cover It multi-use complexion fluid concealer <laughs> yeah so this is how they look let me know if you already have them or if you plan to pick them up from target but i like it i like it and if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later bye guys